Hey everyone, welcome to one of our Bob's Watches tutorial videos. Today we're going over how to set your Rolex GMT Master 2. The original GMT Master first appeared in the 1950s, but in 1982 Rolex unveiled the GMT Master 2 as an all new generation of its famous multi time zone pilot's watch. Building upon the original model with an expanded set of features, the GMT Master 2 ushered in a new era for travel watches and would ultimately go on to replace the original GMT Master model entirely. In addition to the standard three hands that display the hours, minutes, and seconds, GMT Master 2 watches also feature independently adjustable 24-hour hands, rotating bezels with 24-hour scales, and a date display located at 3 o'clock. This core set of features, combined with Rolex's waterproof oyster case and self-winding perpetual movement, make for a perfect and highly capable modern-day travel watch. There are multiple generations of the Rolex GMT Master II, but all of them follow the same general setting instructions regardless of their specific reference or configuration. To set your Rolex GMT Master II, unscrew the winding crown and pull it out to the first notch. Rotating the crown in this position will jump the 12-hour hand either forwards or backwards in 1-hour increments. Turn the crown to move the 12-hour hand in the appropriate direction until the correct value appears inside the date window. During this stage, it's important to remember that the date display will only change every second time that the hour hand passes the 12 o'clock marker, as this represents midnight rather than noon. To set the time on your Rolex GMT Master 2, pull the winding crown out to the second notch until you feel a faint click and the seconds hand comes to a complete stop. Before you set the actual time, it's important to first make sure that the two hour hands are synchronized. To do this, rotate the crown until the 24 hour hand is pointing at the 12 o'clock marker. If the 12 hour hand is not also pointing at the 12 o'clock marker, repeat the previous step to align the two hour hands. Now, turn the crown in either direction until the correct time is displayed by the watch. During this stage, it's important to take note of whether your GMT Master 2 is displaying AM or PM hours. The easiest way to do this is to look at your watch's 24 hour hand. If it's on the right side of the dial, it's AM, and if it's on the left, it's PM. However, if you want to use your GMT Master 2 to display two different time zones, simply set your 24 hour hand to your secondary time zone, and then adjust the 12 hour hand either forwards or backwards the appropriate number of hours until it displays the time in your current location. You can then read your local time by using your standard 12 hour hand and the indexes on the dial, while the time in your secondary location is indicated by the 24 hour hand's position against the corresponding scale on your watch's bezel. Once the time and date have been set, push in the winding crown and screw it back down to the case in order to ensure that your watch stays protected against moisture and dirt. Since your GMT Master 2 is capable of displaying two different time zones with just its hands, its rotating bezel can be used for convenient access to a third. To do this, simply turn it in either direction to correspond with the number of hours either ahead or behind of the time zone indicated by your 24 hour hand. You can then read the third time zone by referencing the GMT hand's position against the 24 hour scale on your watch's bezel. Built upon the foundation of the original GMT Master and designed to be the ultimate multi time zone travel watch, the Rolex GMT Master 2 is an icon from the world of horology and one of the most famous and recognizable timepieces in the entire world. For more information on the Rolex GMT Master 2, be sure to check out our website and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date in our latest video content.